guys, it's Ellie, and welcome to today's YouTube video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit on the short side, primarily because I am dealing with some breathing issues today, and also because I should be D&D planning for session one that I have in, I don't know, three hours? But I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into today's video, and that is my review of the book Alice by Christina Henry. But before we get into the full review of this book, I have two things to say. First of all, because I'm noticing the lighting is changing right now, I apologize for it. The weather outside doesn't know if it wants to be incredibly dark and stormy or super bright and sunny. So we're just gonna kinda have to deal with that today. The second thing is way more important and about this book. The second thing is this book needs a massive, massive trigger warning. It deals with sexual assault a lot and it deals with it with the main character and it is used as something that is kind of held over the main character's head at every point during the novel. And even for me, it made it so that I could not put myself in the shoes of Alice, who is our main character in this book. I could not put myself in her shoes because I just had to have that level of distance from a character who is so, so traumatized. I will say that that is the one thing about this book that I feel like was overdone to a certain extent because there are ways to say that a human being is awful without it being violence against women. All that being said, this book is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. It is an incredibly psychotic, horror-esque Alice in Wonderland retelling. You follow Alice who has been put into an insane asylum after going into the slums basically of the inner city and coming out disfigured, completely maimed, and crazy. And so her family puts her into the old city asylum basically and she meets her friend Hatcher who is also in the asylum in the cell next to hers because as far as he knows he just killed a lot of people with an axe but he doesn't really remember the details. And this is their story as they escape the asylum, find the Jabberwock, and conclude that part of their adventure. This is a duology, I believe, with a third book that includes a bunch of short stories, but the first book is mostly following Alice, Hatcher, and the Jabberwock. Overall, I think I would rate this book a 2.5 or 3 stars out of 5. I do believe that this book is an enjoyable read, but you do have to be incredibly careful with its subject matter, and because of its subject matter, I do feel like this book is not going to appeal to a wide audience. As I mentioned before, Alice was put into an insane asylum, and she was put in at the age of 16. And throughout the book, you have moments of Alice's self-recognition that she never really grew past the age of 16, even though she's been in the asylum for a handful of years. I can't remember exactly, 8 to 10 maybe. But the writing style really reflects that, where there are moments of inner dialogue between Alice and herself where she is questioning why she's viewing a situation the way that she is when she is as old as she is but isn't processing it like she is her actual age. So basically it's the equivalent of a 25 year old processing and handling an emotional situation like a 16 year old. And there are numerous situations in the book where Alice has an inner monologue asking herself, why why do I feel this way? Why can't I feel like an adult? Why haven't I been able to handle things like an adult? And it provides a really interesting psychological insight into Alice as a character. The writing style as well is also really well done, I think, for the narrative tone of the story. It is definitely in the mind of a psychotic person. It is not written in a way that makes a lot of coherent sense sometimes. But for the purpose of this book and for the main character that we are following, it works out flawlessly. I will say, however dark this story is, I really love these portrayals of the Alice in Wonderland characters. All of the characters that you know for the most part, like Cheshire and the Rabbit, are actually mob bosses basically, and they run the lower parts of the inner city. And they are terrible, 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 terrible men. And the storyline actually hinges primarily on the Rabbit and Alice's relationship with him. I can't go into a lot of detail because that is spoilery, and I do like to keep my book reviews spoiler free when I do actually do book reviews. So I can't really get into detail, however the relationships between Alice and the characters that we have come to know and love, if you're an Alice in Wonderland fan, they're incredible and they are so dark and so, so twisted. The interpersonal character relationships between Alice and Hatcher are also really interesting in my opinion. They are both very mentally unstable characters, so the way that they interact with one another and the way that Alice dances around Hatcher's mania is 
really, really interesting. Overall, however, I found the book to be very entertaining. I read it very quickly. It is a very short book. It's under 300 pages long. It is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. It's horror, and I love Alice in Wonderland and that genre of movie in particular, but I found it to be a very interesting read. Though, like I said, I did have to keep a very large barrier between myself and the main character, Alice, because of the trigger warning that I stated at the beginning of the video. This book, however, can probably be seen as very problematic for different people depending on where you're coming from. As I said, the trigger warning of sexual assault, that is a huge thing for a lot of people, especially in today's media, when it is something that we are talking about constantly, women's safety and violence against women. This book was written in 2015, but that doesn't necessarily excuse the subject matter at all. And the handling of mental illness and mental illness in individuals and how that makes them perceive the world. While I personally did not find it as problematic, it will definitely be upsetting to some people. I am completely sure of that. But overall, if you are looking for a book that is entertaining and you like Alice in Wonderland and you like the genre of horror, this book might be worth it for you. As I said, I do have a hard time recommending this book because it is so problematic and if you are coming into it as a sensitive reader, you are probably going to find more problems with this book than you are going to find benefits with reading this book. All of that being said, pushing that aside, I have decided that I am going to go to bi-weekly videos. With my health right now and with all of the things that I am struggling with, it is just going to be easier for me to do every other week versus every week. I will hope to try and change that in the future. I have a bunch of doctor's appointments set up for the month of April, so hopefully we figure out what's going on and get it under control and I can go back to doing weekly videos like I was at the beginning of the year because I do still want to sit down and record for you guys. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below giving me some ideas of videos that you would like to see coming forward. Today is the first day of my D&D campaign so I will be having some Dungeons and Dragons videos in the future as I get further along in this campaign and have some more experience DMing under my belt. And until next time, I hope you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week and a lovely month and stay healthy and I will see you guys next time. Peace out guys!